Hello guys, welcome to the final episode of Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. Will I answer this fucking- oh my god, what was the- Was it like this? How long was it like this? Quality! Why don't you tell me when you're messing up? <sighs> Close enough. Okay, will I answer this question right? Nah, fuck it, I'm just gonna skip it. Is that coming in my left ear? The ship, I'm making this board. It's not fair. I want to win. How long will it be then? Now you can take the price on show. And now, wandering up the stairs, I go. Blah. Blah. There, fixed it. You guys saw it, I think. Which prize shall we take, Kazooie? Me! Uh, how about that grotty, ugly thing? I think we should take 2D. That's what I was meant. Kazooie! God damn it, Kazooie. Please, can we go home now, Banjo? I've had enough adventuring for today, for one day. Sure, let's get out of his stump. Ah, I'm gonna Tilda. And it's Tay who made the game. That didn't fix everything up. Nothing wrong. Oh, last episode, the quality finally feels like messing up on me. Jesus! During the credits, but no one cares. If I could skip this, it'd be nice. That's <laughs> Mumbo's voice. I got Juju. That's kind of cool seeing everyone talk. I hope A down. <laughs> So yes, I think it's kind of ironic to give themselves nicknames off all the characters in the game. This is back before they came up with, uh... Removing the like making the credits not appear at the end, just having the credits like an like an optional thing. I still don't do that very much. Oh, Grant Cope is like my idol. I just love his music. Everyone knows him. Chief free player. I don't know what that is. I think that's the person who plays the game. It's tested. Uh, free players: Stephen Shrapnel, Brand, Gareth, Groggy, Glover. Raven, Gavin, Goblin Hood, Steve, Mr. Vile, Malthus, Adam Moggy, Moon. I don't know any of these people. I, I shouldn't know any of these people, but. <laughs> but, uh, seriously, like, like, honestly, this is like the only game in existence that, like, you know some of the here, like, some of the makers of the game by name. There's only two games in this world that I know makers of the games by name. And that's this and Minecraft. And everyone knows Notch and Jeb. And, uh, what's the other name? What's the other one? That's Notch, Jeb, a couple other people. Who the fuck is Tiki? Is that an enemy in the game? I think it's the ghost. Logo. That's the best character in the game. I love Logo so much. Brilliant Toots. Toots. 
Actually, funny thing is, Toots actually appears in the sequel as um, somebody else's character. I'm not gonna say who, because I'm gonna play a sequel later. Maybe okay, I'll say it's King Jinjo's pet. I hope I didn't ruin anything. I'm just not gonna spoil anything in the LP itself. Logo. I love how they all name themselves other characters in this game. It's kind of awesome. Like, what if, like, like in Minecraft they had, like, whatever Notch's real name is, is Steve in the middle and freaking Some Jeb Creeper. Oh my god, I gotta do a freaking Minecraft little piece of time going on. Nintendo had nothing to do with this. Hurry up and get us home, Banjo! Oof. <laughs> I'm going as fast as I can. Hey, look over there! We forgisted a carrot! Got him. Are you happy now? Come on, you two. We're ready to party. Great. I could do with a drink. And that marks the end of the game. Bad bird did good. Help Mumbo Beats, bitch. Yeah, but they needed my amazing move to do it. No way, we and Banjo were the stars of this game. What's the party for? Grunty got away, so get back up there and finish the job! I'm not going. Oh, yes you are, Kazooie. Let's go. Oh my god, if you can like play as Banjo holding the cup and with the glasses and everything, that'd be pretty cool. But yeah, we're back here. And make sure you got that one magic cauldron before you move on, because the other one's up here. I had more trouble losing this magic cauldron, I think. Did I? There's where it is. No, I didn't. So now you can teleport past Furnace Fun, but I don't suggest it because you can get a health and extra lives. Plus an extra life up here in the window. This is actually the room from the beginning of the game, the cutscene with Grinsilda. This is scary. Like this room literally like scared the shit out of me as a little kid. And we have all the musical notes, so we can open up all these doors. And I don't know, this room is just creepy. It's like, something about it. It's just legitly creepy about this area. And I like that, I have to respect that. I mean it takes a lot of practice to make rooms legitly scary like this. Oh my god. God, this is beautiful. I, I love this area, though. I'm not saying it's like a bad area. I love it, but it is pretty fucking creepy. Oh, I don't want these guys. I thought the guy didn't appear anymore. Okay. And this is the transform, transformo, cuteness, finger Mick Jagger. There's nothing behind this door. That's just part of the cutscene where Klungo walks in. So, uh, nothing there. And up here is the final boss. It's not over, stupid bear. See my picture over there? To fill it up is no mean feat. Lots of jiggies make it complete. This is a fucking lot of jiggies, man. Okay, we've already used six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Jesus. 25 jiggies. I'm sad to say down there, you'll stop because I'm safe here at the top. Oh. That's a nice picture of Grinitilda. It's like she's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna whip your old little bear butt. And I'm just like, okay. 
Okay, let's not do that right away. I just want to get this opened up. And if you got all the musical notes, you unlock all these things, which will refill your items before the fights. So make sure you get the musical notes throughout the game, too. And the hollow honeycombs obviously boost your health up, so that's going to help with the fight, too. Egg. This is the finale. I don't have to worry about time limit. I'm going to do this in a sec here. Let's go to this other one here. And there's a red feather. The, the, this is the mega feather, the mega egg, and the mega gold feather, I guess. There's, there's a name for them. I don't know what they're called. Oh, I should go into those cheat codes. I'm not, not going to do it. I'm not going to use the cheat codes. But the, remember, remember uh, if it helps, um, Cheeto gave us some cheat codes, which double our items. I'll do that in a, a bonus episode at the end, though. And the four last jiggies give us double health, which helps a lot if you miss some things throughout the game. Um, but we didn't. <laughs> What's the disgusting smell? Ooh, visitors for Ding Pot. I like visitors. It's a wonder you get any sewer breath. Uh, what does Strange Birdie thing mean? Uh, she said that we're looking for Gruntilda. Do you know where she is? I sure do, Mr. Bear. Grunty's awful, you know. She was sickening me earlier on. If you can get rid of her, I'll be free. Don't be sure, you silly pot. Soon I'll have you nice and hot. See these filthy clothes I've got? Then I've won you all washed a lot. Don't worry, Dingpot. We'll sort her out if you can't find us a way up there. No problem. Just splash in and I'm f I'll fire you up to the top. Jump in there? No way, Dingpot. Come on, Kazooie, you get a chance to peck the witch's butt. Let's go. My belly's big, it's rather neat. It's years since I have seen my feet. <laughs> that was just one of the unrelated things she always says throughout the game. Did I tell you she puked in me? It was awful. Um. Okay then. I can't believe that furry pair! They got our appearance so unfair, but now the stupid bear must fight. This battle tests your skill and might. <laughs> Worry about hitting her right now. Just pay attention to the LP, and I'll show you guys how it's done. Ouch! I can't hit, but for shut down a bit. I don't know. I don't know what she said. I didn't read fast enough. This is an easy attack to hit with, but you'll see it gets harder as you go. Very hard fight to perform. Um, oh shit, I avoided that. Holy shiz, I avoided that pain. This is the one where she breaks her room, I guess. Also, her broom never appears. See this spell? I think you'll find it's a target. We'll be your behind. This is the unavoidable spell. The high hooken. I don't know. But you use the gold feather and it is avoidable. So. Just stop shooting. Maybe not. Now she takes a sec. There we are. That's not fair. I wasn't ready. I feel faint and all unsteady. Can avoid right here? That really bad aim. Okay. But I don't look like clang. I don't know what she said. I'm gonna grab this though. Take up that health I lost. Yes, you can actually refill the red health. That's nice. Most games, when you get a health boost like this, it's like unrefillable. Okay, let's just get a good view of Mantis. Hit on her. Do that. that would be the smartest. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, if you're really good, you can get some hits in while she's shooting. I fly, cause then we'll see if you can get the best of me. Not bad so far, Banjo, but now use your aerial skills against the old buzzard with this fly pad. Thank you, Bottles. That's very useful. If you didn't learn all the moves in this game, this fight's impossible. Old Bottle Brain has taught you well, but bears don't fly, and I can tell. No! No! I'M A WALRUS! Okay... Let's try again. The ultimate battle of ultimate destiny! Okay. okay, let's do this. Try to hit her. What was that? I mean, I really angered this old cow. She's a little cow, isn't she? Both can hit. God oh, damn it. I really suck at this fight. I normally do it really good though, I don't know why I'm doing so bad today. Run for it, Banjo! Run! RUN! Oh god. This fight is very fast. It's like freaking playing like uh extreme road trip or some shit. This is like a really fast paced fight. It's not like playing extreme road trip. There's nothing related to extreme road trip at all in this. Here's my magnet spell at last. Run and hide, you won't get past. So I can outrun it. So I can outrun it for a while here. No, you can't. What the fudge? Effects? Did I just really break the effects with the camera? That's not fair, I wasn't ready. I feel I'm faint and unsteady. Fight! This fight! Shit! Thank you, game. This is health, by the way. It also sounds a lot like the Donkey Kong thing, I will say. Like the Donkey Kong. Actually, what's ironic is... What's ironic is... Uh... What the fuck are you doing?! No! Bullshit. Get health before it disappears. And to the skies we go. Now let's not mess this up, okay? If I could look while I flew, that'd be really helpful. I was afraid. I was really afraid. 
He stops the shooting thing. He stops the shooting butt shit at me. Oh god, this fight. What are you doing, Banjo? Stop missing! Stop missing! Stop missing! All I want to do is hurt Gruntilda! Jesus! Take that! Ah, you got me once again! Prepare to take this scissor brain! What? Was I supposed to use an accent there? I'm really starting to think Gruntilda has a British accent. The way she rhymes. Or it's like kids can't read or it's shit. One of the two. Yeah, I wasn't really gonna do that. <laughs> that would have been stupid. Uh oh, we. Uh -huh. Oh, Banjo. Oh, Banjo. You make me cry sometimes. You really do. No, Banjo, don't fall. Oh, my goodness. Just kill Gruntilda. Just fucking. Look, 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 Banjo. Look, too good. That's not what I want you to do, Banjo. See, that was what I want you to not do. Now you got an idea, right? Nope, that's not right. Is that enough? Jesus, Gruntilda. Can't I ever hurt you? Jesus. Like, I know that hurt, obviously. Because obviously you're just like, yeah! Your witch sound, whatever. Your bitch sound, whatever. Also, this level is amazingly designed. Like, I've never seen a boss fight this cool looking. And you really build up to this fight. Like, like you don't really build up to fights anymore. It's one of the things they don't do right. I know it's been said in JonTron, but fuck it. It's true. Is that enough? Thank you. That pointy beak did not miss. Let us see it get through this. Let's see it get through that. Oh, I just avoided her for a while. Okay. She's shielded. She's shielded! She's armed! I don't know. Oh, new friends are in trouble. We Jinjos will help you. I hit those Jinjos really well. But must have used a lousy spell. Oh! Ugh. That is just the coolest. Nah, that Jinjo was stung and burned. Now let me back. Back this turn now. No. And these Jinjos will attack her for you. This is a really easy part of the fight. Don't even worry about health anymore. You're at the end. This is the end of the game right here. That's it. Just run for it like you never run before. This is it. That last shot I failed to stop. Now oh, down to the ground I'll drop. Kill me! Don't kill me before the final freaking hit. That's it. This is it, guys. I am the mighty Jinjanita. Activate me. Activate me. <laughs> oh, I know just what the hell is going on here. Oh god. Um, basically, why he says activate me? If you don't know, is basically they probably said like turn me on at first, and that was controversial. Oh shit! Shit, banjo. Waste eggs on this, Jesus.
Oh, this is the hard part. She shoots right at you. There it is! This is it! The Jinja Naito! He's a robot, man. Oh, that is fucking cool. Jinja. And that's also the greatest fucking thing in the game. That is what you should beat this game for, is that face at the end. Knock her off the edge, Ginger I could take these shots all day. There's no way I'm going to sway. This is violence, Jesus. That last Ginger has finished me. But who laughs last? We shall soon see. She missed. She missed with a Vada Kedavra. It's actually, a, it looks like a Vada Kedavra. But Harry Potter didn't exist at the time, so it's weird. We're told the falls and 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 dies. That's it. Ugh. Too heavy! And he's faint, this should not be! So hurry, Klungo, rescue me! And that's it. The end. Sexy lady with the coconuts. Now this cutscene you'll only see if you got everything in the game, by the way. So you're probably never gonna see this. We have fruit. Two coconuts with a banana in the middle. Wait, what? What are melons? Never mind. Ah, this is great. Have we finished now, 2D? Can I relax? Sure, Banjo. You and Kazooie are heroes now. Did you hear that, Banjo? Shorty? I'm a hero. Mm, yes, I suppose you are. Well done, Kazooie. Thanks, Goggles. You're not so dumb after all. That's enough, Kazooie. Let's all watch the cast list now. No! Not another cast list. I could put this in fast motion if I wanted to. Anyway, I will. I don't care. Oh, now it's showing the enemies. Quarry is his name, okay. Wondered. Gruntsling. It's not you learn enemies' names, that's pretty useful. Big butt. Drop it. Uh, that's, that's pretty useful. I don't like a walkthrough for this game. Leaky. Why didn't they show Leaky in the original cutscene? I love Leaky. Locked up. Or it's locked up, isn't it? Little lock up. That's a creative name there. Yum yum. Yum yum. Snippet. Cool enemy. That's Shrapnel. I knew that. I know a lot of the enemies' actual names. That is Snacker. Of course. That's Gloop. Gloop! Hey, it's Gloop! And 
that is Grill Champa. I did not know that one. And a beauty snippet. And those are whiplashes. Crocus. Flip it. Let's flip it. That is Buzz Bomb. The tip the choir. That's Groggy. That's soggy. And that's Moggy. And that's the Twinkies. Sir Slush. Chinker. I dropped my controller. But I don't care. It's jinxy. I really don't care all the characters' names. The ancient ones, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> That's who my mom is. Mott Sand is like our favorite character. Everyone's favorite character. Tumblr. Tumblr. <laughs> Portraits Champa. He's terrifying. That's Teehee, I knew it. There's a purple Teehee. They don't think the purple Teehee. Limbo. Okay, that's Limbo. That's a skeleton dude. Don't know why. Ripper. Do they really have to name all these enemies? Did they really have to name them all? Weren't they fine? Just, that's not a Grimlet, that is an evil Steven Spielberg. Oh, that made my point. Steven? Grimlet? <laughs> I'm funny. Big ah. ah. Mother clucker. Ah. The Zubbas. We all know the Zubbas. That's familiar. I can reference something. Robin Hood. Oh, they actually are Robin Hoods. Okay. Okay, I was wondering what the different names was. What their different names was. Oh, Cheeto. Also, it shows Cheeto. Sometimes people haven't seen Cheeto, so that's... You only actually need to find Cheeto to get this room. Hey, Mumbo got secret pictures. Nice one, Bone Brain. What's on them? Got pictures of things you might miss. You told me to go music the next game. Ooh, did you hear that, Kazooie? We're going to be in another game. Great, so let's see the pictures then, Skirt Spoy. Uh, did you get all 100 jigsaw pieces? We sure did, Mr. Mumbo. Yeah, so show us your secrets, Mask Midget. Pictures show things you missed. Secrets that are for a new game. Banjo Tooie. Oh boy. 
There's some excitement here. Banjo Tui sounds great. Is it any good? Mumbo's jaw dropped in awe. Hey, why isn't it called Banjo Kazooie Tui? I'd be every better be in it too. Short stuff. Banjo Tui make Banjo Kazooie look like joke. Mumbo show you pictures of stuff can use in new game. Here. Find first secret on the beach. Hey, shorty, how did you make that that rock rise up? <laughs> Mumbo not telling. Wow, a secret cavern. Bear and bird must climb to top. What's up there, dumb dumb skull? Wait and see, oh filthy feathered one. <laughs> it looks rather high. Don't worry, Banjo. It looks like I have to get us up there. This is a very boring cutscene. Next secret found in snow. That's Waza's cave. We've already been in here. Hey, what's was what was that egg for on the beach? Tell me, uh, tell us. Bird, be quiet. Watch picture. What's through here? A giant ice key. I knew I, I'd like to stick that. Kazooie? Wait, 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 what? I wasn't even paying attention to reading this night. Okay. Let's stick the ice key somewhere. Another secret can get in desert. Nice, Mumbo. Please tell us what the eggs and key are for. No, bird rude to Mumbo. Not to tell. I wonder what's in here. Huh? It's only another uh, stupid egg. Wow, how do we get to those? Mumbo not telling. Find out in Banjo Tui. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Banjo Kazooie. Or not. Urgh, rocks so heavy, but Klango must rescue Mistress. All the jiggies you did snatch, but I'll be back for my rematch. I should get some kind of bonus for not dying that much. Well, you know, there is still the bonus episode where I will explain those items that Mumbo just showed you all. Those stop and swap. And, um, yeah. See you guys in the next one. And I hope you enjoyed Banjo Kazooie. See you. In the... Are these really all on 100, 900? Six. Well, that's my fastest run through this game. Ladies and gentlemen, I broke a record for myself. Although this looks like a lot faster of a run, so... Maybe I'll finish that sometime. Just for fun. See y'all then.